Hello world, in the previous video, you learned how to create a slash command in Discord and how you can connect that slash command with your Anytan workflow. In this video, we are going to learn to build a workflow that will add a link that we pass with our slash command to a Notion workspace. Let's go ahead and try to execute the slash command that we created earlier and pass a link with that. Because our workflow is not active, we will have to execute our workflow manually. And I will pass the link to my personal website. We again get the error, this interaction failed. But let's take a look in the workflow and see if we get the data or not. So if you see over here, even though we passed the URL, we didn't see any URL over here. So this is because we earlier just registered our slash command, we didn't pass any options with it. So the first thing we want to do is add options so that we can pass some information with our slash command. Now I am going to use Postman for this. The CLI tool that I showed you earlier currently does not support of updating your slash commands you can always use tools like postman to update or delete or even register your slash commands since we are updating a command this would be a patch request and over here i'm passing my application id my guild id as well as the command id now in my headers i have added my bot token for authorization and in the body over here you can see that we have an option which is a name with a description this is required since we want the user to always pass on this information and type 3 specifies what kind of information this is so type 3 stands for string you can always check these types in the discord documentation so now I'm going to make a request, we get a 200, okay, that's pretty awesome. So now let's go back to our workflow and try this command once again. And now this time you see that it is asking us for the URL. So passing the URL, we got an error, that's completely fine. Let's take a look at our workflow. So over here, you can see in the options, we got the value that we passed here. So this is pretty awesome. And this means that we are now able to send the data to our workflow. Now let's go ahead and create the workflow. So the first node that I would add is the if node. So the if node will check the type of request that was made when the slash command was issued. Since the type has the data type of number, I have selected the number type over here and we are going to get this value from the webhook node. So if the type is not equal to 1, we want to return some message back to the slash command. But if the type is equal to 1, we want to register the slash command. So let's first execute the if node. Now since the condition is true, we see the output in the true branch. Now over here, we can check the content. And we also want to pass on the type and this time the type would be 4 so now if we execute the workflow and pass on the link slash command we get the message hello 
So now we are getting some response from our bot. But again, we are not adding the link to our Notion database. So now let's add the Notion node that will allow us to add this link to the Notion database. I already have created a reading list in my Notion workspace. So I'm going to add the incoming link to this workspace. To connect your Notion workspace with Anytime, you will have to create your credentials and you can find the information on Anytime's documentation. I already have created my credential and I'm going to use that. Now since I want to enter some data to the page, I'm going to select database page and then the option is going to be create and I can select the database ID which would be media where if you see this is media and now let's add the property now over here the key can be the name which is the title so let's give it the title again this is some dynamic information so currently I am gonna uh, set the title to the link itself And next we also want to add the link. Alright, so now if I execute the node, we got some response in the Notion node and if I go back to my Notion workspace, you can see over here we have the link added to our reading list. So now let's connect our notion node to the set node and update the message over here. So let's execute this workflow once again and this time we are gonna add a different link. We got a message added link to Notion and if we check our Notion we can see the link over here and if I click on this it will take me to that link. So that's it. You now have a slash command which allows you to add some links to your Notion database. But there's one final step. Till now we were executing the workflow manually by clicking on the execute workflow button but now the workflow is ready so the next step would be to activate the workflow set the production url as the interaction endpoint url in our discord application and to enhance this workflow you can also make an http request to the url get the title of the url of the web page and then add it to Notion. Let me know in the comment section below what you built with the discord slash command and how you are using the new Notion node in any time. Feel free to reach out to me on Twitter. You can find the link on the screen and I would love to see what you built with any time and the discord slash command.